How to capture beacon like a pro. Hey guys, welcome to my video. And this video is separated into two parts, beacon rush and domination. We'll look at beacon rush first. And the first tip um, in beacon rush is getting the beacon first. And obviously this is obvious to you, some of you guys, but not everyone has been playing the game for long. And there's a reason why many good players run beacon runner, fast robot off the start. And as you guys can see from this clip, running a fast robot really helps. Obviously, even though I am two versus one, um, I'm able to capture this beacon and the sacrifice uh, from just this one bot is pretty huge because it's really easier to defend a beacon than overtake a beacon. As you guys already know, the nature of this game is that you can spawn into a beacon. So that sacrifice um, made was definitely worth it. And in terms of um, capturing a beacon, um, I thought in Beacon Rush, uh, getting it first was probably the probably one of the most important part of this game. The next tip is headcount enemies and. I'll, I'll definitely repeat myself about the nature of this game. Uh, if you capture a beacon, you are able to spawn into that beacon. And as you can see, I'm approaching a be open beacon here with the busted up robot. And obviously I have saved up my ability and you have to really count um, six guys because other guy, one guy, one or two guys um, not spawned in could actually be searching um, where to spawn in. And that is a crucial part that you have to think about when you're capturing a beacon okay the next one up is save your ability and you saw that from the last clip and um this is also an important one to capture a beacon especially in up uh, in beacon rush um because obviously again i'm repeating myself again um you, they can spawn in here just like that and with the strider having uh, multiple dash i'm able to dash um and avoid some of um, the specter's orc in here and I was able to capture this beacon. This next clip shows the same um, saving my ability. It does help that my teammate is behind me so two players aren't both engaged to me but uh, as soon as I killed this pursuer I un understood that there was uh, three players not spawning in so even though I'm getting hit by this player in front of me I did actually save my ability for this moment right here and I was able to eliminate this enemy and capture this beacon. So this is just an additional tip but you really have to be patient because there are always stall moments in beacon rush and you have to stay around the beacon and obviously stay in cover and you really have to wait for your chance um, for beacon capturing opportunity and on to domination so in domination first one up is counterplay so you really have to win a fight uh, win an engagement around the beacon to really capture a beacon and let's say enemy already had the beacon um, it's not like they can spawn in a beacon they have to walk all the way from uh, their spawn and if you're walking all the way from your spawn towards enemy to capture a beacon you can really tell what they're running so countering uh, what they have, uh, thinking about that engagement is very crucial in domination. And obviously these footages shows you um, pretty much countering um, other bots. And dominant bots like Ares or other Pantheon bots, I really like countering these bots with Hellburners. And the point is here is just really um, mismatch and use counter robots. Next one up is mismatch speed. And this is very important because there are open uh, beacons in domination, uh, especially during the mid mid game. And obviously, running a fast spot, there's not much point in running a fast spot uh, as your first pick. But in mid game, when there are open beacons and when enemies are on one side, there's always opportunity to walk into that open beacon and capture that beacon. And obviously here, my team was lacking in beacons, so um, running low-key helps. Um, it's really easy to run uh, low-key to do this because obviously it has that infinite stealth and the speed is just amazing. But you can also do this with other fast spots, uh, Strider, Kumio, and Hellburners. 
normally you don't want a beacon near enemy spawn but um, it does help uh, during mid game and it buys your teammates uh, time to get other beacons and obviously you can do you do that with speed here that's the point next one up is move cover to cover and obviously a lot of inexperienced players uh, don't do this and a lot of experienced players are really good at this so this footage shows you uh, me with mercury um, my attempt is to get that left beacon here and it looks like we have two versus two situation except this person decides to um, go towards center I believe and I'm mean, trying to use these two covers to get there but I am two versus one and I, I am outnumbered so I'm trying to find a different way so while I'm doing this I still have to find different covers to get there I still want that left beacon there now I am analyzing where other enemies are here so I can really think about which covers to use obviously I see a cover here trying to use this cover and hopefully I'll approach when um, those two guys on the left use up their ability and I'm locking on to um, a couple other players to just really measure their distance and although I'm taking hit I'm not using the ability and this guy obviously used his ability retribution and I'm able to use my own ability hell dive I didn't get the hell dive in but I'm able to take this guy out and take this guy out as well to capture this beacon and obviously this is domination they can't spawn in here so I'm able to successfully uh, overtake this beacon. And thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I know that a lot of good players, elite players are, were watching this as well. So if you have any other tips, uh, feel free to share it in the comments. And I also have my own channel as well. So check my channel out and I'll catch you guys on the next video. See you guys.